Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What is the expected economic impact of Trump's mass deportation plans? Let's consider the potential consequences. Over 11 million undocumented immigrants, around 3% of the U.S. population, would be affected. Nearly 80% of these individuals have lived in the country for a decade or more, becoming part of various sectors of the economy. The American Immigration Council estimates that mass deportation could lead to a significant reduction in the U.S. Gross domestic product. The loss might range from 4.2% to 6.8% of the annual GDP, equating to $1.1 trillion to $1.7 trillion in 2022 dollars. For context, this is similar to the economic downturn during the Great Recession of 2007 to 2009, when the GDP decreased by 4.3%. The impact on specific industries would be considerable. Construction, agriculture, and the hospitality sector would experience major labor shortages. For example, nearly 14% of workers in the construction industry are undocumented, and their removal would disrupt all types of construction, from homes to infrastructure. Undocumented immigrants also make significant contributions to the tax base. In 2022, they paid $46.8 billion in federal taxes and $29.3 billion in state and local taxes. They also contributed $22.6 billion to Social Security and $5.7 billion to Medicare. The loss of these contributions would put pressure on social safety net programs, particularly as the U.S. population ages. The financial costs associated with deportation are staggering. Detaining individuals costs $150 per night, with an average stay of 46 days. One deportation flight can cost a quarter of a million dollars, and many countries, such as Cuba and Venezuela, rarely accept deported individuals, complicating the process. Mass deportation would also separate millions of families, impacting 8.5 million U.S. citizens with undocumented family members. This could lead to significant economic hardship for these mixed-status families, with household incomes potentially reduced by an average of 62.7%, or $51,200 per year. In states like California, Texas, and Florida, which house nearly half of the country's undocumented immigrants, the economic impact would be particularly harsh. These states would face a considerable reduction in their workforce and consumer spending power, as undocumented households currently possess $256. billion in spending power. The economic consequences of mass deportation would be extensive and damaging, affecting not only the undocumented population, but also U.S. nation, born workers, and the broader economy. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions we're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.